Hey guys, so it's finally time to get myself the Gummy Baller. Yeah, my first in-game dipper. So this is amazing, guys. I've been grinding really hard. Let's go and see what we need and get this done. So first of all, I'm just going to get some extra glue because that's going to be handy. Right, here we go, guys. This is amazing. I've been waiting for so long. Okay, so I've got 1,500 glue. I've got 2,500 gumdrops. I need the 50 caustics, 50 super smoothies, and five turpentine so that's what i'm going to go get so let's go and get them right now the turpentine requires honeysuckles and well they're pretty hard to get guys uh it's going to take you a long time to get these honeysuckles especially when the same of our uh, limit you to 30 max so let's go and get those right now guys because that should give me enough honeysuckles to make one more turpentine oh what oh let's just grab these actually yeah there we go 1000 so that is it guys so that is the same of our that was how you're going to get your honeysuckles suckles to make your turpentine i also use the blue planter in the blue field i use it in the sunflower field and also in the rose field and you can get honeysuckles the blue flower field is actually the best one but you can't keep doing it over and over again guys so i should get brown bulbs and it takes forever wow past rooms i've got those to do as well now the other place to get the honeysuckles is obviously the memory matchmaker let's quickly do that now these you can get like a maximum of 15 on here and if you're going for it, that is great. So actually, I do need some. So I'm just going to go for it today. I think I'll just skip all the other matches. See if I can actually get lucky enough. And this is the problem, right? You can literally click on these. Oh, there we go. We got it. So yeah, sometimes I just focus on the one thing and you get it. But there's another 15 honeysuckles. I tried to do that last night, but I failed by just a few. So let's get into the blendy here. And we're going to get serious about this now. We need to do a turpentine first. So let's see my turpentine levels. I've got four and I need five. So to do that, I'm going to need caustic wax. So first of all, we're going to make some caustic wax. And wow, we can't make those because we don't have enough royal jelly. All right, we're going to go get ourselves a bunch of royal jelly. As you can see, guys, it's 5,000 royal jelly just for one caustic waxes. And I need like 60. So I'm going to do some rough math in my head right now and say that I'm going to need a lot. So let's go get one, two, three, and then we get one, two, three, four, and five, just to be sure, guys. So that is a lot of royal jellies just to do the caustics. But, uh, well, so you're going to need to have a bit, bit of extra honey uh, left over, guys. We'll go the quick way this time, and boom. There we go, caustic waxes. So we're going to get eight to start with, right? So let's just start with that confirm. And we'll speed up for 10 tickets, 8 tickets, and boom, there we go. So we have 8 caustic waxes. Now I think we could do the turpentine. Let's go, guys. Okay, so we're just going to make one turpentine. Boom, there we go. Speed it up. Yes. All right, so we've got 5 turpentine. Now we're going to get 50 super smoothies and 50 caustics. So let's go do the super smoothies to start with. And they're going to consume a lot of these purple potions. But if you go buy that Merry Mondo pack in the catalog, you should get a bunch of these guys. I should actually wait. That would be a better way to do this because I could go buy the super smoothies in about two or three days time. But I'm just going to go ahead and do this now because I'm pretty excited to getting the gumballer. So let's confirm that now. And we're going to speed that up as well. And boom, and now we just need those caustics. So they're going to be pretty expensive on the hard wax. I don't think I've got enough. So let's see, guys. We need 60 of these. So let's see how far we can take this. As you can see, it uses a lot of royal jelly. And I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to have to come back and get some hard waxes. So let's just confirm that now. Speed that up for 38 tickets. I need 60. I need 60 hard waxes. So that's going to take a lot of resources here, guys. You're going to need a lot of these bitter berries. And look at this, guys. The enzymes are crazy. So, yeah, obviously it's going to use all the soft waxes as well. But, um... It's totally worth it, guys. It's totally worth it to get the gumball. Like, if you want to rush it, just do it. All right, so I think we should be good. Let's just check our inventory. We've got 50 super smoothies. We've got five turpentine. We've got 38 caustic waxes because we haven't done those. And let's go with 12 caustic waxes. And there we go. So we've got 50 caustic waxes. We've got five turpentine. We've got two and a half thousand gumdrops. We've got 1,500 glue. And we just need to get the 50 super smoothies and we're done. So let's go shopping. Oh boy, guys, I'm super excited. This is the moment. First end game item. Wow, pretty excited, guys. Let's open the shop. 
And look at that. We've got everything we need. It's 10 trillion honey. Shall we do it, guys? Let's go and craft the item. Boom. And it's equipped. What? Let's go equip our mask as well while we're here. And then we're going to look for... But look at it, guys. It's amazing. What? I can't believe it. Now, the reason why I wanted to get this and not anything else, guys, well, was because basically, yeah, this looks much better <laughs> than all the other dippers. I mean, I must admit, it looks pretty cool. Having a floating ball on there is going to really hurt my uh, processing power, but sure, let's go for it. Uh, look, Gummy Bear keeps approaching. Yeah, I'm going to come back to you, Gummy Bear. I'm going to get started on your quest. Look at this, guys. Well, the ball is everywhere. Look how much lag there is. That's amazing. I can make lag with this game. All right, let's go. What do I do with this thing? I'd like use it in the field, right? Like, whoa, look at the size of the patch. That's huge, guys. Look at that. And then, oh, wow. That is a lot of pollen real quick, like. So what exactly, I guess we're going to get some uh, goo or something for it to actually work, right? Yeah, so we've got 15 power here. Oh, I've got to keep getting it. Seriously, this is going to be interesting. Let's go up to, I don't know, let's go up to Mountain Top and let's do it up there and see exactly the power of this thing. Now, you're going to get it to like a thousand power. That's that's crazy. So I'm going to need a bunch of gumdrops. So let's put a sprinkler down. Let's get the gumdrops going and let's test this out and see exactly what it does. So, yeah, this is pretty impressive looking dipper, I must say. Like the other dippers, not so excited, guys. Not so excited about the other dippers. 312 already. This did not take me long. All right, we're going to get some pollen marks up here so we can see its effect as well. That would be pretty cool. 610. We don't really want the windy bee, but hey, whatever. If it happens, guys, 712. Here we go. 800, 830. It's doing massive amounts of dipping. And here we go. Boom. There it goes, guys. That's, wow, look at that. Now it's supposed to bounce off of pollen marks and get extra pollen and everything. So this is amazing. Uh, I'm not getting a massive amount of uh, stuff, but I'm probably getting a lot of goo. Well, that was it. What? That is insane. Uh, so that just happens. Obviously, when you're farming in goo, you're going to be able to get this all the time. So if you're a goo player, a uh, white player, obviously, and you're probably going to have your goo running, this is going to help a lot. So let's see if we can do this effect again and see exactly what it does. Now, it is supposed to bounce off these pollen marks, so that is going to be interesting. Let's go. Boom. Jump and activate. Boom. There it is. So we've just hit a pollen mark. We're getting some 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4. So that must be the pollen count that's coming in right now. I'm not really doing anything and I'm still getting uh, 8 million per second. So that's pretty decent, guys. Oh, uh, and now all my pollen marks come in. So this is the Gummy Baller. How cool is that, guys? What? This is insane. This is insane. Uh, I can't believe I've got it. Now, it does look pretty good. I'll have to see how it works uh, just in general gameplay because I probably won't be dropping gumdrops all the time. So, yeah, there is that, guys. I probably won't be dropping gumdrops all the time. But let's uh, let's check this out one more time. It's crazy here with all the balloons. And I don't know if it's going to be any lag. Look how big the ball's getting. All right, so she's pretty close now. It's pretty close, guys. What? Here it goes. Boom, there it goes again. So it's supposed to get like extra, oh, token, yeah, it's supposed to get extra power from tokens and stuff. So you know what I'm thinking, guys? Let's go check this out. Let's, let's finish the thing. It doesn't last very long. So uh, let's go over here. I've got, a, I've got an idea, guys. I've got an idea. Let's get this uh, in the field again one more time. Let's get this goo on the field again. And I've got a theory here. So you get bonus points for hitting pollen marks and walls and all sorts of stuff, guys. So having some small walls is pretty handy. Maybe even something like the stump snail would be good. But check this out. We're going to get to 1,000 pretty quickly here. Okay, so we're getting close to 1,000. So what I'm going to do is this, guys. Check this out. I'm going to do a honey storm. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to see how many things it actually hits. Let's see what happens. So I should be getting that number quite high. Let's see, 1.4. There's a lot of tokens in here now, guys. It's two. It's up to 2.3, 2.4. So that was pretty good, guys. So there's a hot tip. Uh, you, if you've got coin scatter going on as well, uh, then you want to activate this thing for sure. Wow, this is like super everything happening right now. But anyway, guys, that is the gum baller. Let me know in the comments below how many years you think it's going to take before you get your gum baller. And, uh, well, I guess going to get on the next thing now. I guess it's the Tide Popper. That shouldn't be too hard to get at all. I just need a lot of swirled wax. 
Anyway, guys, that's all i got time for today. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, it's bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.